Everybody. This is Robert, and today I'm going to talk a little bit about it's called a technique, as you can hear the cars going by, um, a technique called hybrid picking. And if you watch a lot of my stuff, um, I actually do it quite a bit. And what it is, is when you have your pick and one, like, I guess in your fingers, to your, so you're using your pick, but you're also, you pluck with your other fingers. So I do it a lot, it gives it like that, that poppy kind of, let's see. <laughs> kind of twangy um, side to things and I, I love using it <clears throat> especially if you have a hard time maybe like string skipping you know stuff like that it comes in handy in all kinds of like spots as far as playing the guitar and like I said it also just gives it that different tone to it because I mean listen to this note picked with the pick Okay, and then this is kind of hybrid picked. You know, and just it, it's a really cool technique, and um, I didn't, I never did, used it for a, quite a long time, and then um, I started messing with it, and I really liked it. I mean, it just it has a real nice like tone and sound to it. just another technique. It never hurts to know a lot of different um, picking techniques and everything. But um, what I did was I have the exercise kind of if you're not used to hybrid picking and it was what I just played in the intro and it works really good. Because I mean I've seen when I learned um, how to do it I learned an exercise it was real boring. I can't even remember what it was now. that it was real boring and didn't really sound musical to me and um, this one I think it sounds cool it sounds musical and I don't know I mean it just whenever you're playing something and it sounds like a song or like music then it, it's always like got my attention more and made it seem less like practice and more like you're just learning a song so, um, I'm going to show you the exercise that I'm doing, and hopefully this will help your hybrid picking out. Okay, and here's the, um, the lick, and I'm going to kind of explain what I'm doing. What I do is, is this two, I mean, sorry, the second fret on the D string. I'm constantly going back to that, and that I, but I'm only hitting this note with the pick. The passing notes, I'm um, plucking with my middle finger. So the kind of the technique is, you know, down, and then you're gonna pluck. And if you notice, there's not a whole lot of motion in my hand and everything. So the notes are going to be, like I said, you have the 2nd fret on the D, and that's going to be your bass note, and you're going to go 2 on the D, then you're going to go to the 2nd fret on the G, back 2 on the D, 5 on the G, and you're going to go to your 4, so you have this so far, and back to your 2. all the same stuff except for having that second fret on the D as your bass you're gonna move up to the third fret on the D so you can, the transition kind of sounds like this okay like I said like I didn't change the notes on the G at all just on the D string okay and then we're gonna do a position shift and you're gonna go up to the fifth fret on the D okay and 
everything's the same way. Like between each note, you're hitting that bass with the pick. So you got the fifth fret on the D, then you go to the fourth fret on the G, then fifth on the D, then you go seven on the G, fifth on the D, and then um, five on the G, and you go to your four. Um, I play each one twice. Okay, and this is kind of just uh, what would this be? It's kind of like an A minor scale. Or I guess if you were an E, it'd be like E Phrygian. So this is kind of like an E Phrygian kind of. I guess. But anyways, after that part, we're gonna, um, the next one, the rhythmic side of it changes. And it, I'll play it for you. It sounds like this. Okay? So, again, I'm still doing the pedal, the bass note, in between each one. So I'm not gonna say that this time when I explain it to you. I'm sure you're getting tired of me saying the same thing. So, you got, you start off, the bass is going to be on the 7th fret on the D string. Then you go to the 5th on the G. How, what am I doing here? Okay, yeah. <laughs> I forgot what I play. Um, 5 on the G. Then you're going to go bass 7. I'm sorry, 9 on the G. Then you're going to go 10 on the G. Back to your 9. So. Okay, and you're going to go 7 on the G, and then 9 on the G. So. And the last little bit is you do 5th fret on the G to the 7th fret. the whole lick. Sorry if I didn't do a good job explaining. I think I kept confusing myself when I was playing. But yeah, I'll do a close-up of just my picking hand so you can see that too. But um, the whole lick played slow, which is just this. guys that's um, pretty much the lesson for the day hopefully this helps um, you with your hybrid picking and everything and like I said um, this exercise should be real good it's, it's real musical and has um, substance to it and everything so I really hope that it helps you and everything and um, you know thanks so much for all the subscribers views um, friend requests everything you know I really appreciate it I try to always answer um, everybody's comments below so if you want to leave a comment or a question about something um, feel free to do it um, you know I just, I really hope these lessons help people and everything. I really enjoy making them and, you know, like I said, I just want to, like, join the guitar world together. But anyways, I'll see you guys later with the next video lesson. Rock on. Peace out. <laughs>